first time in the team, man. That's a bonus in the red corner. From the Yokao gym in Hong Kong. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring. So making his way to the ring, all the way from Hong Kong and trains at the Yokao Center in Hong Kong, is Chung. Said to me early on he was really excited about fighting on this show and a great opportunity to showcase his skills. Let's see. Full rules action then, ladies and gentlemen. If you're used to the five three-minute rounds, I understand it. But to get to get all the fights on tonight, we are gonna have four, we're gonna have three threes. There you go then. 47 fights for Chung, 41 fights for Vintu. Very good records, 38 wins and 36 wins, respectively. So these two, great matchmaking here. And also, ladies and gentlemen, be looking forward to the 23rd of March, an absolute scorcher brought to you from Yokao again at the Macron Centre in Bolton. I've been told by their promoter, Brian Calder, that I'm not allowed to tell you what is what. We'll see. So, if you don't know, I'll make you aware. The Ramuai, the ritual dance of prayer. Every gym has their own. Each fighter takes a preference to what they like, and it's just an old tradition of Muay Thai that I believe should be kept up, and it is doing. We'll see. Sealing the ring there. So the Moncon being removed from Rustam. Chung already looks excited and ready to go. Well, let's see what these two are capable of. Our, our referee is England's very own former two-time world champion, Mr. Kevin Harper, from the Majestic Gym in Wigan. Never been to Wigan, lovely part of the world, isn't it, Kathy? You need a passport to go there. <laughs> <It's true. laughs> and injections. White and black and silver is uh, Rustam. And orange and black predominantly is Chung. Three three-minute rounds of full rules Muay Thai action. Live to you here. Yakal 35 into it. On paper, this looks like a well matched fight. This. It does. Heavily tattooed back of Chung with the Sakyan, the traditional Thai tattoos. We'll see. Southpaw then. Rustam. Vinci looking to engage very, very early. Not, no, no feeling out process here. Good eyesight here though, Chung, you know, just finding his area, but sharp hands from Rustam. Nice heavy inside leg kick. His homework, hasn't he, Gavli? Left up right hand and then yeah. got to watch dropping his hands though, Chung, hasn't he? Yeah, it needs to, you know, this is the thing as well, but just with the three rounds as well, it's going to start really, each fight's going to start really fast, so every fighter needs to be on the metal from the get-go. There's going to be no really warming in period here. You know, everybody's going to come out warm and ready to go. Aggressive, coming forward all the time. Vintu, but... Nice clinch work going in and just looking for the elbows here. I'm anxious, a little bit anxious, these two, Gav, I think. I think Vinto's spo spoiling his, work, his own work a little bit. He's very he's very aggressive coming forward, but he's just, you know, taking in. He's just coming in a bit too quickly and, and, and spoiling his own shots. Nice side knee from Chung. starting to settle yeah. nice now. Knows his way around the clinch. Chung mm. seems looking for different areas. Mm, yeah. One mistake in there and... An elbow, that was a nice shot. Good left hook. Good left hook. Body shots as well from Chung. Nice variety there. Very. <clears throat> Catching a 
Combination back from Chung, just misses with a left elbow. Very nice from Chung, he's coming back every single time, landing good, good scoring techniques. Sneak elbow there from Rustam. Pushes Chung down to the floor, showing strength here, G. Yeah, very strong. He's just step in though, doesn't he, with his, his kick really heavy, Rustam, and just not really utilising the southpaw advantage, is he really? Not, no, you, in fact, you wouldn't know. He was, you know, if you're just watching this fight now, you're not, you're not seeing any sort of classic southpaw tendencies. Yeah. He's not making it difficult for Chung. Ambitious spinning elbow just walked into the clinch with a little bit of Rustam. It's a combination of sharp right hand at the end of that, that and then a elbow and a left hook. Ten seconds. Sneaky elbows going in from both boxers. Nicer scoring for me though for Chung Gavi. Yeah, it was nicer, more better balanced, uh, nicer shots, uh, a little bit more patient as well. Actually, a bit more. He looked better that round. So, if you just join us, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Yokal 35, live for you on Facebook. Hope you're enjoying it as much as we are. And here's some of the action from the first round. Chung just bustling, Rustam Vintu to the floor. I think Vintu's just rushing his work a little bit too much here. Nice Trying to shot. Find ways. That was a nice left yeah. up. Jump put good boxing combinations here, but it seems to pull with the jab, doesn't he, Gavin? There's no snap behind. Yeah, there's no Rustam. snap in the shots. He's landing the shots. I think maybe this this second round, though, you might see a little bit more where he, because both fighters in the first round were quite bouncy. They, they weren't setting the feet. Uh, quite as strong as he should have been. I think maybe this round when they both settled down, you might see Chung land some better combinations with a bit of sharpness and a bit more power in them. So we're going to round number two then. Number three, three minute rounds. Full rules Muay Thai action here. Yokout 35, live to you from Turin. Nice kick start from Chung. Sneak elbow from the, up the middle there from Vintu. Starts to use the right kick well here, Chung. See, Rustam's very quick to close the distance, come in, but then gets out clinched. Smart work here from Chung. Very nice to watch. Yeah. Lots of variety. We keep people guessing. Nice scoring kick, so going in from both boxes, but. Kick for kick now, really. Better. Nice kick back, though. Good. Nice little sneaky yeah, elbow there, sneak right elbow. through the middle. Kick for pick, kick, punch for punch, really at times, but Rustam being more aggressive in this round, Gavin, but not walking to the clinch as much. No. Scoring with the kicks though, isn't he? Chung yeah, he's, here? but he's, you know, Chung's not, not being allowed to switch off either. Though he's still got to work hard for these for these positions and these kicks yeah. and these combinations. If he switches off at any point, I think you know you, you let a, a fighter with that sort of style of Rustam's got, he'll come back in and he'll outwork you. But Chung can't afford to step back or, or, or break off here. He's got to keep this pace high. Seems to be tiring to me, Vintu. Mouths. He's took a lot of. Uh, yeah, decidedly uh, open yeah, door though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, he's took a lot of body kicks and it can take a take a lot of the wind out of your sails. That was nice. Good. That was good. Very nice. Smartly thrown that reverse elbow to the top of the head. Still comes forward though, Rustam. Sneak elbow, but good body shots from the Hong Kong star. Oh, 
getting back in a straight line though, Gavin, and allowing Vinci just to walk on him, isn't it? Yeah, I think I think at this point now, Chung's really got to step onto 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 his and make him go backwards. Yeah. And I, I think you'll see, see the fight turn even quicker than it. it I mean, it's turning a little bit now, but if he pushes uh, pushes Rustam back, he, I think the fight will turn. Some knees going in, sneak elbow from Vinci, scoring with these as well. Getting good position in the clinch now, Chung, but needs to be throwing the knees to impress the judges. Final few seconds of this second round. That was a good knee right on the bell there. Towards the end of the round, though, he had a bit of a better round than two, but I'd still lean towards two. Yeah. So we'll see. So the prospective corners give the much-needed advice. See, he, he, he did come out aggressive again, came out aggressive again. As you see, he paused the shots in and Chung just steps in and just takes, takes, the, takes the stuff away from him. Landed with a good body kick there. As you see now, he's not really... He's not really giving Chung anything to think about. Chung needs to start moving to his left, doesn't he? And yeah. take the play away from, from Vinci, especially this side. Throw the hook. There's that a spinning nice, back fist, yeah. very smartly thrown. Took that well, it, though, fair play. Yeah, he did, did take it well. Chung shown good imagination in this fight as well. He's thrown nice combinations. Kept Rustam guessing all the time as well. There's no lacking, there's no lacking endeavour from, from, from Rustam, but he's just coming up short at the moment. So here we go then, we're going to round number three then. We've got Vintu behind in this one. But you never know how judges are seeing it, Gavin, and we'll see. Yeah. Our second fight here, Yokao 34. Let's see. That was nice, nice, yeah, nice but where... Better feet, hasn't he? Chung moves well. Yeah, as the fight's gone, he's, he, he's, he, his footwork's got better. He's got more settled. He's very, very happy in that clinch. Very comfortable. Very dangerous when he comes Beautiful. out of it as well. He's Absolutely nearly booted his wig off there, yeah, didn't he? he did. Just pushes him to the floor. Nice combination from... Just backs himself up though, doesn't he, Chung? Have you noticed he yeah. backs himself up without anything coming at him? He pulls yeah, he doesn't himself need back. to. I think that's the the, the, the lack of snapping in his, in his in his jab though as well. He's, he's not. He just touches. He just touches to land something else, yeah. land a body kick or a knee or something. If he really puts some snap in that jab, he could push him back. Scoring well in the clinch here though, Chung. That was a nice knee to the body, bigger knee, scoring with more power. Visibly see that pushes him to the floor, yeah. showing dominance. Big round here so far for Chung. Sneak elbow. Chung moving himself back, which I don't like, but there's things to work on. Nice knees. Good twist from. I think what's really. Rustam, but he's not got the clinch on coming in. No, he's not, got, he's, not, he's not got control there at yeah. all. His hand, one of his hands on the outside. It's difficult to do that. I mean, he's an aggressive come forward fighter, and, and, and I feel he should have made this a bit harder for Chung than he has done. I mean, literally, Chung has not got a hair out of place. No. Knees going into the body, just looking down, and knows exactly where he is. Locks the arm through, just pushes. The forearm down, good elbow as well from Chung. Running away with this one, Gavin, this round especially. Yeah, he's, he, when he's in the clinch there, he's killing the space as well. And when he's coming out of the clinch, he's dangerous. He, he throws an elbow, throws something straight out of the clinch as well, just to slot, swallow the space up. Good scoring, right side knee from Chung all the time. Very comfortable. Yeah, just hopping him in. Really pushing down on Vintu. Harper breaks the clinch. Last 15 seconds now of this third round. Good work going in from both box. Got to give credit to Vintu as well. He, came, he made a fight of it, didn't he? Yeah, definitely. Chung wasn't, wouldn't have been as, as good as he has been if Vintu hadn't have come forward and pushed and been aggressive all the way through the three rounds. So, good fight. Well, a very nice fight indeed, ladies and gentlemen. And that goes to the judges' scorecards.
And I believe, in my opinion, Chung has that. We'll see. Oh, we won't see. He has won that. I think he has won that, yeah. There's, no, there's not Hitching really... Hitting your bets, again. <laughs> Get off that fence. So, you hope you're enjoying it, ladies and gentlemen. And if you want to know what's going on, I'll tell you something. March the 23rd, live at Bolton. <laughs> An absolute scorching of a show in the UK. And the tickets are available for that one. You stay home and enjoy with us an absolute superb double edition of Yokao 35 and 36. And there's RMC Douglas McCadden with the decision. Douglas Adam, like myself, been with Yokao from the beginning, from 2012, I believe, and uh, always had a wonderful time and been treated very well, like we have, Gavin. We have. Ladies and gentlemen, athletes from three rounds, we now go to the judges' quarter. And the judges have reached the unanimous decision in the big offshore winner. In the red corner, Moon King Chow. Yeah, no doubts. No doubts. Yeah, no doubts at all, really, was there, you know? Showing respect and admiration for his opponent. That's what it's all about, really. So, there is some very, very exciting fights indeed to come tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you for joining us here live on Facebook. We're always interested in who you'd like to see and your favourite fighters. Of course, the Yoka regulars being Liam Harrison, Manachai, Sanchai and Singdam and of course Scotland's very own homegrown young superstar Spencer Brown he's coming up later on against Luca, Ro Luca Roma for a European WBC title RMC moves us on